गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर रिविजन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर लेट्स स्टार्ट द रिविजन ऑफ आवर कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर दीज आर द फाइव क्वेश्चन आई है रिटर्न आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट नाउ वन बाई वन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट एक्सप्रेस ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लस आई बी so first question z equals to a plus i b which is given 5 plus root 2 i upon 1 minus root 2 i so i have to rationalize it with the conjugate of the denominator so its conjugate will be 1 plus root 2 i upon 1 plus root 2 i so the denominator terms now here becomes as a square minus b square 1 square minus root 2 into i square so 5 into 1 5 5 root 2 i root root to i and root to to root to to i to i i square 5 plus 5 root to i plus root to i 6 root to i and minus 2 upon 1 square 1 minus 2 i square since we know that the value of i square is minus 1 So five minus two will become three plus six root two i upon one. It will become plus two as i square is minus one. So three plus six root two i upon three. Now we can take three common. So one plus two root two i divided by three. So Our given complex number will be in the form of now a plus i b one plus two root two i. Okay, we have to rationalize the given complex number with the conjugate of the denominator. That is, denominator is given one minus root two i, so we have to multiply and divide with it one plus root two i, and then we have to evaluate. And wherever we are getting i square term, we have to Take the next step minus one, and we have to solve it further. Okay, let's move to the question number second. Now question number two. LHS one plus i to the power four one plus one upon i to the power four. As we is as we see here that. Both the powers are same, so it can be written as one plus i, one plus one upon i, whole to the power four. So this one plus i, and if we take LCM as i, we will get i plus one to the power four. One plus i and i plus one both are same, so one plus i. Whole square, or you can directly now you can do the multiplication. Okay, so i plus one plus i square plus i. Open the bracket upon i to the power four. As we know that i square value is minus one. This i and i will become two i plus one, and i square is minus one upon i to the power four. So this minus one plus one will be cancelled out. Now two to the power four into i to the power four upon i to the power four. When we open the this bracket, or we can cancel out i here also. So i to the power four and two to the power four cancel. Two to the power four is sixteen. Okay. Both the powers same. Hai. So one plus i one plus one upon i whole to the power four. Take LCM as i. It will become i plus one. Open the bracket. 
i plus 1 plus i square plus i 2i i plus i 2i 1 plus i square value is minus 1 so we are substituted here minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 cancel out open the bracket 2 to the power 4 i to the power 4 upon i to the power 4 this will be cancelled out so 2 to the power 4 is 16 that is our RHS now let's move to the question number 3 find the modulus and argument of a complex number minus 1 minus 2 3 i when we compare this complex number with a plus i b the value of a is minus 1 and value of b is minus 2 3 as we know that the modulus is always the positive square root of the sum of the squares of the real and the imaginary part the modulus of any complex number is always the positive square root of the sum of the squares of the real and the imaginary part that is root over a square plus b square which is equals to now value of a is minus 1 square value of b is minus root 3 the whole square minus 1 square 1 minus root 3 square 3 root 4 which will be positive value modulus 2 and we have to calculate the argument also so argument is given by tan theta is equals to y by x sorry b upon a imaginary number upon real number and imaginary number we are having minus root 3 and real number minus 1 this cancel out so root 3 by 1 is root 3 so tan theta equals to tan 60 degree is root 3 so it is pi by 3 so our argument when we compare their angles theta is equals to pi by 3 ok z equals to minus 1 minus root 3i equals to a plus ib here a is equals to minus 1 b is equals to minus root 3 the modulus is the positive square root of the sum of the squares of the real part and the imaginary part and it will be the positive value no need of taking negative as the modulus is always positive argument is given by tan theta equals to imaginary number upon real number that is b upon a minus root 3 upon minus 1 will become root 3 as root 3 comes in tan 60 degree so theta will be equals to pi by 3 in here that is the argument now let's move to the question number 4. Question number 4. Z equal is equal to given 2 minus i and Z2 is equal to given to us 1 plus i. So we have to get the value of modulus of Z1 plus Z2 plus 1 upon Z1 minus Z2 plus 1. So I have to find out this one. So first I will find Z1 plus Z2 plus 1. That is 2 minus i plus 1 plus i plus 1. Plus i and minus i cancel out. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. And now denominator 1. Z1 minus Z2 plus 1. 2 minus i minus 1 minus i. Sign will change as there is a minus sign and plus 1 so minus 1 and plus 1 cancel out we are left out with 2 minus 2i is it clear? 2 minus i minus i minus 2i now you will find out z1 plus z2 plus 1 upon z1 minus z2 plus 1 that is 4 upon 2 minus 2i now from the denominator before rationalization I can take two common here. When I take two common 1 minus i this comes 2. Now 2 upon 1 minus i now I have to rationalize with the conjugate of it to convert in the form of a plus i b. So 2 into 1 plus i upon a square minus b square 1 minus i square 2 into 1 plus i upon 1 plus 1 as we know that i square is equals to minus 1 so we get 2 into 1 plus i upon 
2 2 and 2 cancel so 1 plus i so this complete z1 plus z2 plus 1 upon z1 minus z2 plus 1 is written as 1 plus i now i have to take the modulus of it so modulus of z1 plus z2 plus 1 upon z1 minus z2 plus 1 will be equals to under root over a square plus b square that is root over 1 square i coefficient 1 so it is root 2 so that is our answer so first you calculate z1 plus z2 plus 1 then you calculate z1 minus z2 plus 1 and then you take the division of both these terms you get 4 upon 2 minus 2i take 2 common 1 minus i 2 upon 1 minus i and now we have to rationalize with the conjugate of the denominator 1 minus i so 1 plus i 1 plus i 2 into 1 plus i upon a square minus b square so finally we are getting here 1 plus i and finally we have to take the modulus of this complete complex number that is square root of 1 square plus 1 square that is square root of 2 units let's move to the next one question number 5 Question number 5 It is given that since x plus i y the whole cube is equal to u plus i v as we know that a plus b the whole cube since I write the formula here a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b that's why this LHS can be written as x cube plus i cube y cube plus 3a into b into a plus b equals to u plus i v now x cube this can be written as i square into i into y cube plus 3 x square y i plus 3 x i y square i square equals to u plus i v so since we know that now i square is minus 1 so i am going to substitute that value that is going to substitute value i square is minus 1 it will become minus i y q plus 3x square y into i plus this also is i square so it will become again minus 3xy square equals to u plus i v as we know that i square is equals to minus 1 clear a q plus b q plus 3 a b to a plus b open the bracket wherever we are getting the highest power of i i cube can be written as i square into i so i square is minus 1 so it will become minus i y cube here also 3x y square i square so i square is minus 1 so it will become minus 3 x y square now this x cube and 3 x y square is a real part and the imaginary part is 3 x square y minus y cube is equal to u plus i v now we can compare this real part to this real part and we can compare this imaginary part to the, this imaginary part ok so on comparing real and imaginary part on comparing x cube minus 3 x y square is equal to u and 3x square y minus y cube equals to v. Can we take x common from here? Yes. So x square minus 3y square equals to u. And here also we can take y common 3x square minus y square equals to v. So what we get here? x square minus 3y square equals to u upon x and 3x square minus y square equals to v upon y. Now these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, we will add up. So on adding these equations, we get u upon x 
plus b upon y equals to x square minus 3y square plus 3x square minus y square. So x square plus 3x square, 4x square minus 3y square plus minus y square, 4y square which gives us 4 common and we get the RHS 4 times of x square minus y square. First we apply the formula of a plus b the whole cube, a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. Simplify, get it in the form of a plus ib in the form of real and imaginary part and then you compare with RHS real and imaginary part. So real part x2 minus 3x y square is equal to real part of RHS u and imaginary part of 3x square imaginary part 3x square y minus y cube of LHS will be equal to the imaginary part of the RHS that is v and then you can simplify it okay now let's come to a few of the questions revision from the chapter linear inequalities linear inequalities the first question the second question is for solving the equations in equations first one 3 into x minus 1 less than or equals to 2 into x minus 3 first open the bracket 3x minus 3 less than or equals to 2x minus 6 transpose the variables 3x minus 2x less than or equals to minus 6 plus 3 3x minus 2x will be x less than or equals to minus 3 so that is our solution of the first one now the question number 2 3 into x minus 2 upon 5 less than or equals to 5 into 2 minus x upon 3 whenever you do the cross multiplications left side numerator must be in the left side only and right side numerator must be in the right side only so we are going to multiply here 3 into 3 x minus 2 less than or equals to 5 into 5 2 minus x so 3 into 3 9 x minus 2 less than or equals to 25 2 minus x so 9x minus 18 less than or equals to 50 minus 25x now just we transpose it 9x plus 25x 50 minus 18 9x plus 25x 34 x less than or equals to 50 minus 850 sorry 50 plus 18 when we transpose we get 50 plus 18 so 68 so x is less than or equals to 68 upon 34 that is 2 so x is less than or equals to 2 okay so whenever you are multiplying the numerator of the left hand side must be in the numerator only and right side's numerator must be in the numerator only they are right side only so 3 into 3x minus 2 less than or equals to 5 into 5 2 minus x okay don't write in this way 5 into 5 less than or equals to 3 into 3 x minus 2 this way is not correct what i am telling 5 into 5 into 2 minus x 5 into 5 into 2 minus x less than or equals to 3 into 3 uh, x minus 2 okay because here the positions are changed x minus 2 here comes in the right and here it is in the left one so whenever you multiply the left side functions numerator must be near itself and the right side uh, numerator function must be in the right side only and then you can proceed because it is not an equal sign they are inequalities 
okay and whenever we are solving the inequalities if suppose in the final solution we are getting x is greater than 2 then it is correct no problem x is less than 2 no problem if i am getting suppose 2 is greater than x so variable must be always in the left side so we have to just x is less than 2 when we bring this side to the variable the inequality sign will be changed in final answer if we are getting minus x is greater than 2 so we are multiplying here with minus sign to get a positive variable so here also x less than minus 2 it will become x less than inequality sign will be changed if it is x greater than minus 2 ok no problem and if it is minus x less than minus 2 both LHS and RHS are negative terms in the final answer then also you are multiplying with both the uh, terms with this negative sign so here also the inequality sign will change x will become less than say greater than those like that. So be careful x greater than 2 no problem x less than 2 no problem x greater than minus 2 no problem but if it is comes constant first and variable in the right side you have to just convert it in the left x less than 2 if it is variable is negative then also you are going to make it positive by multiplying both the terms with negative sign then also the inequality sign will be reversed if both the terms we are having negative in the final answer here also we are going to multiply with negative sign so here also the inequality sign will be reversed okay now let's come to the question number 3 question number 3 that is 6.1 exercise 6.1 question number 21 Question number 21 is Ravi obtained 70 marks and 75 marks in first two unit test. In first test, Ravi obtained 70 marks. In the second test, Ravi obtained 75 marks. Find the minimum marks in the third test. Let the mark in third test bx so that it will have an average of at least 60 marks so average of 60 marks at least average of 60 marks so we will take the average first plus second plus third 70 plus 75 plus x divided by 3 greater than or equal to 60 at least you can 60 be possible or 60 say jada, it is 60 say come me. So 70 plus 75, 145 plus x greater than equals to 180. x is greater than equals to 180 minus 145. x is greater than or equals to 35. So that is the third at least he has to score, Ravi has to score 35 marks in the third test. Okay, now let's move to the question number. Uh, 4 that is exercise 6.1 question number 25 the longest side of a triangle is 3 times the, sh the shortest side so question number 25 let the shortest side let the shortest side of a triangle be x centimeter so longest side according to the question we are having it is given that 3x the longest side of a triangle is 3 times than the shortest side and the third side third side is 2 cm shorter than the longest side longest side is 3x and 2 cm shorter means minus 2 ok if the perimeter of a triangle is at least 61 cm and perimeter of a triangle is sum of all the sides. According to the question, perimeter of a triangle is at least 61 centimeter. 
सो पैरामीटर में सम ऑफ ऑल द साइड्स x 3x 3x 2 ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू 61 दिस कंप्लीट वी ऐड अप वी गेट 7x 2 ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 61 7x इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 63 x इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 9 सो फॉर गेटिंग द पैरामीटर एट लीस्ट 61 और मोर देन 61 द लेंथ शॉर्टेस्ट साइड मस्ट बी इक्वल टू मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ 9 सेंटीमीटर और मोर देन दैट सो मिनिमम लेंथ so minimum length of shortest side of a triangle that is x must be equals to 9 cm is the answer okay thank you